What does the recent CHIPS Act mean for investors? Let's start the countdown and find out. Welcome back to the Investor Place Launchpad, where we explore trending investment ideas and try to rocket them to the moon. I'm Head of Mission Control, Aaron Davis, and with the recent CHIPS Act primed to move forward, we're examining the upcoming predicted boom and what it means for the semiconductor industry, and of course, what it means for investors. As always, before we dive in, we'd love to continue to grow our channel here at Investor Place, so feel free to hit that like and subscribe button and smash that notification bell to stay up to date with us here at the Launchpad. With all of that out of the way, let's dive right into the semiconductor arena. Last week, the U.S. Senate voted to move the appropriately named Creating Helpful Incentives to Produce Semiconductors for America, or CHIPS Act, forward, adding a significant growth catalyst to the semiconductor industry. As Axios reported, the package is intended to entice companies to expand chip manufacturing in the U.S., reducing the risk of supply chain disruptions that hampered production of everything from cars to appliances and helping the U.S. compete overseas, particularly with China. As the Senate passed the act, chip stocks in turn quickly began to rally. While the bill still must pass a vote in the House of Representatives, its passing in the Senate has seemingly appeased investors and as a result has seen experts highly bullish on chip stocks, predicting massive growth ahead in the sector. With an immediate rally as a result of the Senate passing, companies like Nvidia, AMD, and Intel are all predicted to rally even higher once the bill clears its final hurdle. As Zeno Mercer of market research firm and advisory Robo Global told Investor Place, as for fab versus fabless semiconductor benefactors, the demand was and will be there regardless of the bill passage. This does give Nvidia, AMD, and Intel advantages in terms of better control by de-risking supply side and supply chain. Mercer also highlighted that it won't be only the semiconductor industry that benefits from this act, as companies dependent on the manufactured chips will increase their demand. Mercer cites the company Teradyne as one such example, a U.S. company that designs and manufactures automatic test equipment. Mercer highlights this big picture thinking stating we're going to see a gigantic medium to longer term wave from the next generation of consumer hardware and software like wearables and AR VR which require high end chips enterprise and cloud the chips plus act empowers that and provides services pulling from networking DevOps security and electric autonomous vehicles and of course defense applications ultimately it looks as if the chips act checks all the boxes for good investment through macroeconomic impact investment infrastructure and and jobs. Though many smaller semiconductor stocks rallied as a result of the Senate passing of the CHIPS Act, it may take the House passing for one of the bigger names in the game to see similar gains. Despite the Senate passing, Intel was down 10% at the end of last week after reporting subpar second quarter results that came in well below analysts' average outlook. With slumps in Chromebook MPC sales, Intel reported an EPS of 29 cents a share, a number certainly under average analyst predictions of around 41 cents. Additionally, its top line sank 17% year over year to 15.3 billion versus an analyst's mean estimate of 17.9 billion. Though some remain bearish on the outlook of the company, the future could provide a turnaround. With the passing of the Chips Act, Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger remains optimistic, stating, We believe our turnaround is clearly taking shape and expect Q2 and Q3 to be the financial bottom for the company. With the expectation of the House passing of the CHIPS Act, the question remains, what are the best plays in the industry for investors? Last week, senior investment analyst Louis Navalier and his team recognized the supply chain issues surrounding the semiconductor industry and what stocks could make great long-term plays. With the passing of the bill, it seems that his seven semiconductor stocks to buy and hold forever is poised to be an even better list when combined with the future of the CHIPS Act. For the full breakdown, you can head on over to InvestorPlace.com, but Navalier recommends the following. Analog devices. More than half of its chip sales go to industrial and automotive end markets. Advanced micro devices. The company is known for its gaming and desktop computer processors. In phase energy, the solar inverter provider is making inroads in the European Union right now as the West looks for solar battery technology solutions. Lattice Semiconductor. The company's stock should see a boost as it's added to the Russell 1000 index. Monolithic power systems. It is involved in EV charging stations, infotainment, dashboards, cameras, and sensors. On semiconductors, as as long as there's demand for semiconductors continues to rise in the long term, then on semiconductors should be a good stock for long term investors. And finally, Synaptics, the California company works hard with human interface hardware. 
One of the two highest ranked stocks, according to Navalier, is Enphase Energy, a top solar inverter provider. The company continues to make inroads in the European Union and is expected to grow sales by 40% in Q2 of 2022. The stock rose above analyst expectations in Q1 with earnings of $441.29 million and an EPS of 79 cents a share, 10 cents over analyst expectations. Enphase looks to be appealing as both an alternative energy and semiconductor play. The CHIPS Act has certainly given the semiconductor industry momentum moving forward, which could see subsequent rise in stock price. But what do you think? Is the CHIPS Act going to bolster the semiconductor industry? Is it enough to wean off foreign chip dependence? What semiconductor plays are you interested in? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Well, that's all we have for the Launchpad this week. If you'd like more insights like this and Louis Navalier's full breakdown of seven semiconductor stocks to buy and hold forever, head on over to InvestorPlace.com where we release articles daily. And as always, check back with us here at the Launchpad where we will continue to look for trends like the CHIPS Act. And as always, try to shoot for the moon. <laughs>